hey my lovelies just look at how colorful this native jollof looks guys it tasted so good but before we go on any further let's go to my intro so for this recipe you can use any meat or fish of your choice but i'm going to be using some catfish fillet which i already soaked for like 30 minutes in hot water some pomo also known as cow skin and of course some dried prawns which i dried myself you also need some bell peppers and um, you can use just the red one but i just had to add the orange one because i already had that at home some scotch bonnet and of course some um onions i'm using the purple and white one guys you know me this is a habit And here I've got some leaves and I'll be using the uziza and spinach. The uziza I'm using for flavor while the spinach is just to add color to my dish. And here I've got some rice and I'm using the sela basmati, basmati rice. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've just added some hot water and then I'm just going to allow this to sit for like 10 minutes while I go prep my peppers so first i'll be blending the ginger with some onions before i start adding the red and bell peppers that's just because i want the ginger to have a more smooth blend than the rest of um, the peppers and yeah my rice has soaked for 10 minutes so I'm just going to wash it out in cold water. It's good to wash your rice or just parboil it to remove um, the arsenic from it, okay? So yeah, I'm just going to now take off the heads from the prawns, just separate them. And that's because um, I'll be blending the head later, uh, which I'm going to be using in place of crayfish, yeah but if you get to buy like headless and prawns still add crayfish to your dish okay so i'm just going to grind the what is it called the crayfish head now you remember this um crops grinder yes i'm still enjoying it guys i'm also going to be adding my scissor seed yeah this one this is optional guys but i just like to add it to my own dish because i found out that it gives my um, native rice better flavor palm oil in the heated pan and then I'm just adding my onions you don't need to bleach your palm oil rice right? because you actually need the palm oil flavor in it here yeah? so you don't have to bleach your oil okay so the onion is just frying a bit and then just added my pepper blend Just cover that and I'm just going to allow it to fry for like 15 minutes it's looking good guys yeah give it a stir and then add my stock cube and 
and then I'm adding the part of the uh, blend. And then my dry fish, prawns. One more and then I give it a good mix. Salt to taste. Mix. It's looking so good already. Yeah, and then I'm just going to add uh, about half a cup of water. And then I'll cover this and I'll allow it to cook for like 10 minutes so that um, the fish and the momo is soft a bit. And guys, please, when buying your momo, make sure you buy the one that is soft because you don't want to cook it for too, too long, okay? So, yeah. This is after um, 10 minutes now. The sauce, some of the, the fish, the... Um, prawns and the omo and I'm going to be using that as sides after cooking and also I'll add some after cooking just you know to make the rice more colorful yeah so I've gone ahead to add my my rice and I'm giving it a good mix added the remaining crayfish blend no the prawns blend and one stock cube and here i've added my chicken stock you can use any any stock of your choice and some more water yeah the water just to get to the level of the rice we don't want too much water otherwise your rice will be soggy so at this point, I'm just going to taste for salt. Yeah. So guys, here after now you can actually use um foil paper to cover your pot and then just allow the rice to steam. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put the lid on because I've already soaked my rice for like 10 minutes. So the rice is actually like a, a little bit soft so i don't have to do all that okay and moreover i'm using the basmati rice which um, cooks faster yes see the rice oh my god this looks so good Can you see that smoke guys <laughs> yeah i'm just covering it a bit more yeah for it to cook for five more minutes yeah, so that is the sauce that i took out so i've just added it to the rice now and then i'm going to also add some of the onions I left earlier and then my vegetables and then I'm just going to give this a good mix just look at this guys just see isn't this I don't even know the word to use like but it tasted so good like I said my oh my <laughs> just look at it oh, wow look at those dry prawns oh my god this color is so so good <laughs> so i'm just going to dish out some now so if you watch up to this point guys and you've not yet subscribed to this channel kindly do so and become a part of this lovely family and to my old subscribers thank you so much for your continuous support please if you find this video useful kindly give me a thumbs up and then as always 
I will see you in my next one. Popesa signing out.